let's go over what I did. This is just a one by three, cut it to about four inches long, pre-drilled three holes, screwed it into the bed. This is half inch electrical conduit pipe. And that's, uh, what is that? Three eighths inch, maybe a half inch, now it's three eighths inch rebar. Set that over there. These hooks will hold the netting down. I'm planting peas here. I'll do a row on either side of the strip line and the peas will climb up the netting, but the netting has to be low enough for them to grab onto when they're, when they're small. This is just nylon cord and I spiraled this all the way up to the top. You want to use nylon with this. You don't want to use twine. Twine will de deteriorate over a season and it won't be any good. And I just tied this off onto the top. This is just a corner piece and I've gone across however long my bed is. You can go up to a 10 foot long piece with this conduit. Join it here and I spiral down all the way down to the other end and it's the same on this side. Now that netting is just plain garden netting. Posts are six feet tall. The peas will grow easily two feet past those, so I just cut them off when they're done. And they don't do too much once the weather gets really warm. And then uh, that's pretty much it. I can grow peas, squash, cucumbers, anything up that trellis. Hope that was helpful. Hope it gave you an idea. If you like the video, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you would, ring that bell to get notified of uh, future videos. Any comments or questions, go ahead and leave down below. I will leave a list of the materials down in the uh, descriptions box also. Alright, back soon with more stuff. Bye-bye.